What's up guys, King Racer here. And I'm back with a brand new video showcasing model cars. And today we're gonna take a look at my massive Majorette 3000 series collection, which features semi-trucks, large model scale, like this Toyota Land Cruiser in the back, buses, other trucks, and some other vehicles like vans and limousines. This collection also features some other black as brands such as Matchbox and Playart and we're going to take a look at all of these models very soon. So stay tuned. So to start the video we're going to take a look at the semi truck first. In the Major 3000 series there's four different castings of these trucks. There's the white which is this one right here. This Kenya. There is also two flat nose truck. Uh, I mean three flat nose truck. This Volvo is the first one, no opening features on this one. This very old Renault truck. And also we have this one, which I believe is maybe a uh, international, I'm not sure. But it doesn't say on the base, so correct me if I'm wrong, but this is another type of truck available in the 3000 series. So in this collection of semis, there's different type of trailers that comes with the trucks. There's the tankers. Fortunately, I don't have a lot of companies to go with. I also I only have two versions, which is the Petro Canada, the SO in the shell, which is mean three, excuse me. And some of these trucks don't match exactly the trailer because I'm missing some tractors. Sometimes most of these trucks I found in the thrift shop store. So sometimes I only found the trailers. Sometimes I'm lucky and found both the truck and the trailer. And sometimes I also only found just a tractor. So I have to compose with this little problem. But uh, most of the time I can find most of my trucks in decent condition. And sometimes I'm lucky and if I go to the market, I can find them at decent prices for the condition of these trucks. There is the uh, car hauler trailers, two versions of this one. This is the most recent version, I will say. With, it comes with uh, a two special platform, one plastic and one metal, and a little ramp in the back. And there's the more vintage version, which is all metal, super heavy. Two ramps and it'll into the back to maintain the vehicle in place when they are all in the side of the truck. There's also the container trucks, which is this one. This is the uh, Super Trans Transport Rig with the orange tractor. Also, I have this one in the back, unfortunately is missing the container so this one is just a flatbed type truck there's the boat truck which can float if you try them on the water there's a very unique one i only have one of these is the uh, large dump truck which elevates and this thing is trust me very very heavy this is all metal so if you want to do some heavy, heavy transportation. You have to go with this one. And two last and not least, we have the horse trailer, which is this one. Comes with the wrong truck. And we have the race car hauler, which is this one here. Features quite a bit of doors in the back. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, there's also this one. Right here, or flatbed. This one uh, will usually come with a bulldozer. Okay, I don't have this vehicle with me. But the both will come with this uh, unique white construction logo. So, first of all, we're going to take a look, a closer look at the tankers. I'm going to show you the two best ones that I have in my collection the white and the Scania. We gotta take this one apart and take a look at the tractor first. 
you can see it says Scania right in front of the grill, right over here. Let's have a little logo on the back on the red grill also here. Some dots, the headlights, front grill. This one features an opening hood. So you want to take a look at this diesel engine, which is quite detailed for this 164 scale truck. Very interesting. One feature a cream paint job. Also I have some plastic inserts for side view mirrors, which is our chrome painted. On the side, nothing particular. You have the common major wheels that comes with these trucks. Exhaust pipes on the right side. You have an extra spare tire if you have a flat tire. Another exhaust over here. Of course, this is the hook for the trailer. On the back, you have some details. You have Scania right on the right side. And a little license plate on the left. You also have some dots maybe for braking. More stripes here. On the base, it says Majorette, made in France. And uh, I think these are supposed to say the scale on these trucks. I don't see them for now. But normally we'll see 160 scale. I think it says on the white trucks. I'm gonna take a look later on this one. So this is the white. They are exactly the same casting. They're just the color that changed and sometimes they have a logo on the company on the side of the doors but otherwise this is a very nice looking truck and for the trailer and there it comes this one is the Esso trailer come with uh, two-tone style paint the blue the white and the orange come with little legs over here and you can remove and put some skinny wheels this is plastic, the base here is metal. Major it. 160 of scale, made in France, so it also says on the trailer. We have a little uh, ladder here to climb on the top of the tanker. A little logo here to warn you that you are transporting some uh, inflammable fluid. Esso. These are also real light, these are the back of the trailers. Quite details. License plate numbers. Turn signals, braking lights. On the right side, nothing special except the tempos. Sometimes there are tempos, sometimes stickers. You have the holes here to uh, deliver your fuel. Comes with a little spare here. And this is the hook to attach the plastic part here. So there we have, this is the scanner truck. And these trucks, when they are mint, they roll very, very nicely. So if you are, like you roll your castings or your trucks, these are good to go. They are very nice looking and detailed toys. Next is the white truck. This one's the Shell Company. Now this one is quite weird because you can have two variations of this truck. You can have one without saying white on the front grille and you can have one that does say white on the grill. I have no truck that does say white on the grill, which is unfortunate, but uh, I will probably eventually find one. So we have the two separate grill here, the headlights. This bumper is metal, which is part of the base. This truck also has an opening hood. With detail engine, detail uh, suspension composition here. These are our style of Matrix trucks wheels, the seven spoke. Chrome side view mirrors, plastic. This one has a single exhaust on the right side. Whatever, this is probably an air tanker. On the driver's side, another tanker wheel. Wheels. The hook for the trailer. Here, same thing, some uh, details for the, the back. The mud flaps, you have the brake lights, license plate, also a little probably for the white company. And on the uh, driver's side is the same thing as the right side. So yeah, pretty cool little truck. And for the trailer, it's actually the, exactly the same features as the SO one. Also does a shell here, and this is a sticker, as you can see here, the marcation. Ladder, logo. This one does not have anything in the back, however, which is uh, surprising. 
and also the yellow part here is also metal. I forgot to mention it on the asshole, but this is metal. This is metal. The only part here is plastic is this uh, white bar here and the red bar over here too. Very smooth trucks. So I'm gonna put these aside for now. I'm gonna take a look at the other ones. So this is not a uh, major release. This is a custom version I made. You probably recognize this rig al uh, already. This is the uh, rig that was featured in the Steven Spielberg movie, Duel. So this one I decided to add extra detail, some li extra license plates of the driver to actually kill when he was driving around. Painted the headlights white and black. Painted the black grille. Still had the opening hood. The hood, the hood. Marker lights. Extra uh, side view mirrors because these were busted when I originally owned the truck. Had an extra air tanker on the side. A single horn, air horn. The exhaust here that I had because it was also broken. Painted the wheel black. Of course I had on the trailer some extra details. If I can just take it apart without breaking anything. <clears throat> there we go. It was a bit difficult, but uh, here we go. So I had inflammable here. Painted the holes black. Also the wheels. Nothing special on the base. Here on the back, I also left the uh, extra tampons here yellow. Flammable. Caution. And I also had the extra part here to cover the, uh, the gap that was on the trailer to make it more approaching realistic to the uh, original truck in the movie. And I painted this uh, trailer a rusty uh, brown scholar, just like the tractor with some demarcation to make more like a, a rusty old truck than a, a painted brown truck. So yeah, this is it. This is the dual truck. Ready to chase on the drivers. Next one here is not matching. This is the, uh, not many, a major truck that will come with the uh, a car hauler trailer, so it doesn't match. And this is the Petro Canada trailer. Wheel is broken in the back. And the tampons are quite worn up, so nothing special on this one. I hope I will eventually find more trailers with more gas companies in better condition than this one. But uh, that's how thing goes sometimes. Here, another Scania. These are exactly the same as the one on the back. This one is just in a little bit better shape. Shell. The ladder is a little bit uh, loose here. Oh, this one still have the uh, the temples on the back. The shell logo. Big opening hood on this shell. Uh, this uh, Scania truck. Yellow. And this one here is another shell truck. Same trailer. This one this is the blue white truck. Probably come with the. Uh, a box truck trailer and yeah this one the biggest problem with this uh, Scania is the the hook is so loose and the truck is not even attaching to the trailer and if you push it forward the cab it just it doesn't work anymore <laughs> it's still surprising that this one still have the ladder in the back no, not being broken but uh, yeah it's probably gonna be a truck uh, available for customs just like this uh, uh, dual truck right there. Okay, so we're done with the tankers. Now we're gonna move forward. Take a look at those car hauler. They are all pretty cool, but I have to admit that this one right here, where I pull it out first, is the best one. It's also the uh, oldest major 3000 series truck that I have in my collection. As you can see, this is in pristine condition. This one says Transport Gefco, probably a European company. This is a yellow Scania truck. So we're gonna take this one apart. Here we go, I have to be careful not to chip the paint because these trucks are sometimes fragile. 
So this one's very different from the uh, American truck I show you, style this truck I show you first. This one has the uh, painted color yellow window. Still have the uh, side mirrors and chrome here, plastic insert. A nice black grille with the Renault logo. This one features a blue metal base over here with another extra in there in the back, which is plastic. And this one's a cab over. So you can see the uh, hood when you're putting it like this, which is pretty cool. You have some details on the doors. It does have does say a few numbers on the side here. Maybe for the truck numbers. Little details on the roof here and on the back behind the uh, hinge. Also have a license plate in here. Quite details and the old style matrix wheels for the trailers. So here it's all blue painted metal. Heavy piece, metal base also. The only part plastic here is the yellow part here, which is all the fenders. And this one is a nice blue paint fish finish. And you also have your original tail lights and back lights molded inside the casting of the ramp so yeah definitely one of my favorite trucks here I wish I will have more trucks in this good condition but uh, maybe one in the future I will have more trucks like this this one is in the same truck in the off shape look a little bit more this one's also uh, suffer from a, a loose toe inch for the trailer and this one says Savian on the grill this one does the not so it's probably a Savian truck not a Renault truck however still have the big engine underneath the cab here this one says DM as a sticker still have the uh, yellow painted the uh, tainted windows those uh, wheels still so send the details on the on the back here and for the trailer different color scheme this one's a little bit more kiddish orange rim the red hand in the back yellow here and you have your very warm major temple here this one's a little bit better on the right side and this one have a sticker in the back for the back lights and the turn signals and everything So yeah, pretty cool. These are probably the FES and Matrix trailers that you will get as fast as, as far as diecast Matrix. This one's another one, Matrix Trans Auto, blue and yellow. Very cool. Of course, the trailer is not matching the truck. This one came came from another set. This one's probably a Sonico tanker trailer. That come with this blue and yellow truck. Opening hood. Spare tire is still there. So they have the exhaust. Some details in the back. Side of Scania. Oh, yeah, pretty cool. Oops. Okay. Then we're gonna add a little feature here. So normally to load cars, you will put the trailer back like this, pull the back ramp, and you can fit three cars on the top and on the back. So let's see if I have cars here, maybe in my red case, and I will see. Okay, so I'm pull out some cars here. We're gonna see if they all fit in the back of this truck. If you want to see those cars in better view, you can go and see my other YouTube video covering my vast majority of yeah uh, major cars I also have a playlist if you want to check this out so I'm gonna load this first one this is the Cadillac Alenti in a very funky green color kind of remembers me the spectral campaign from Hot Wheels next we have this little Renault here and I'm gonna try another car maybe this uh, Honda here Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oop. Oop. 
and doesn't fit quite well this one's probably a little bit too long maybe if i put it like this okay I put the honda okay load this ramp i don't think it's gonna stay very well if i not uh, holding on like this let's see how many cars fit in the back a ramp so we're gonna put this aston martin and these two mercedes oh only two cars fit in the back so probably goes with the uh length of the car you have so this uh, beautiful mercedes is not going to be loaded inside of the truck so one two three four five five cars fits on the back of this vintage trail i'm wondering is the same number for this one in the back i'm gonna to test this out so yeah so when you're finished loading you just clean the ramp here and you're good to go next this is the most modern version of this trailer features the white truck this one's probably in very good condition LT service 73 26 0 0 0 0 0 it's a nice white truck in pristine condition same features as the other one transparent chrome side view mirrors the exhaust wheels you can also maybe take a look at this interior the camera can show you got a little dash here in the steering wheel oh yeah this one have a looks like this one that have a broken part so we're gonna have to test this probably the volvo one which is mint and correct so normally this one's probably the same functional if you have the other truck you have to lift this like that you put a little trailer here and then you can load your cars forward in the back and then you put it down and you put your cars over there when you're finished you just put this front like that and there we go good to go so since this one have a broken part on the top of the truck I'm gonna take a look at the Volvo truck and also have some issues pinning it will pin the back so this is a other truck we can take a look first when this one says transport exotic seven spoke wheels this one is does not have any opening features but still pretty cool it says volvo cast it right here it's the art tell because the paint is quite filling it well volvo logo on the grill draw headlights in each side a little grill on the back no bumper here in the back we have the uh, exhaust on the left a little pinch on the right a nice texture grill behind the cab you have your hit inch for the trailer nothing more than in the back don't see any license plate or anything special like that on the base 160 scale just like the other matrix trucks trailer same thing this one features a black plastic top instead of a red one just like the other trailer nothing right on the back so let's see how many cars this one can fit the Volvo truck so put a little list like that Go. put the ramp down gonna unload a little Cadillac shiny green Cadillac one maybe this Mercedes here which is in very good condition uh, like this like that I'll try like this then maybe this uh, Aston Martin okay let's put it up there does it stay okay good Renault not Mercedes one two three does Honda fit on it 
Oh, and it does fit on it. So with this one, you can add an extra car in the back for delivery instead of five cars in the other set. So this one's pretty good. And the cars are more straight too, so you can have a better look at them instead of the back of this cage here metal. So yeah, pretty good. Last trip before we go to the other contender in both hours. This is the Jeffco Volvo. And this one is messed up, missing all the parts. So not very useful for hauling cars. So next one is this container truck. This is I believe the international rig. Take this one apart. Here we go. Very nice details on the sides here. So we have the chrome plastic insert for the side of the mirrors. This one has a trail horn. Very nice. Must be very, very <laughs> heavy when you activate it to one of the other drivers. This one has plastic inserts for the grills and the lights. Metal bumper. More details on the sides here. They also have this white cap that goes right through the truck, which is a plastic part. Little details in the back, uh, license plate. And also some serial numbers, number 60 and 80. Maybe some vents here. And also have the traditional wheels for the major red rig. This one has two separate containers that come with this trailer, super trams. I think you can take them apart. I'm not gonna do this because this truck is such poor and pristine condition. And you can open this gate in the back and fit some uh, cargo, which is pretty cool. Little details in the back. License plate. So this one, the gray part is metal, just like this other part here. You have the spare tire on the middle. This yellow is plastic, and the white containers are also plastic. So yeah, pretty cool trailer. I think this is also one of my best condition trucks in the collection. There we go. And it rolls like a baby. Next, we have these two. Two different red trucks. The Scania and the white, which is cool. And these are the both haulers. So these trucks don't need presentation anymore. This one has a busted mirror, however, which is unfortunate. Opening hood. Spare tire, oops. This one seems to be a little bit Loose and uh, yeah, this one have a broken suspension pillar here, so that's a bummer. If you go on the road, the, the truck was just like this a little bit too much. For the boat haulers, uh, uh, boat trailers, excuse me. So you have these two legs here on the back to maintain the boat in place, and you have this big one here that goes all through and maintaining the boat in place. Little dolphin on the side of this one. Carrion Nice, friends. Red is metal. Yellow is plastic. Major it. 0.6 scale. Long vehicle, which is cool. This is on the back. Also have some nice details on the top of the trailer. And on the side here. And uh, for the rest, the boats are plastic, so nothing special here. No part, no parts used for this one, of course, because they have to float. And I think it's probably missing a canoe on the top. That's right. And this is the white truck version, all blue truck. Oh, wait a second. I think this one says white on the front grill. Yeah, here we go. I can imagine and just focus. There we go. So you can see you can have one that says white on the front wheel of this truck, which is pretty cool. I didn't notice this before. I think I didn't thought you had one. 
but now I know it. As far as this one, I think this is a. Uh, I like it, this one better than the red one. Probably because it still have the original stickers on it. Boat transporter, see a bird with the British flag. Same details as the other trailer. Nice blue paint job. And this one's a little bit broken in the, on the front, but nothing serious. And the paint job is very nice too. Yeah, pretty cool. These are also quite uncommon to found here. The most trucks I found are the tankers, but these ones, especially you found them in the same bags, they are very cool to find. Here we have a bunch of bobtails. This one's the uh, different version. This is a Polix version. I don't know what, what kind of trailer that come with it, but it's pretty cool. And these ones, this is the white with the auto transporter. Decal livery, pretty good condition. Just a mirror, it just busted a little bit. That's all right. This one is probably in not so good shape. The wheels are bent, exhaust is broken in the back, so not interesting. Here we have a construction truck with the large bucket dump truck trailer. Oh my goodness, yeah, this thing is difficult to take apart. So this is a construction company version. It's the same tempo work as the one with the flat bed uh, with the, uh, and the bulldozer. This one's pretty off shape, so maybe we're gonna take a look at the other one. It's just a little bit uh, less rough shape. Sometimes you can find one just with the logo and other, this logo in construction says on it. Open hood. And this one does not say it's white on the front grill. And as far as the trailer goes, this is probably the heaviest one you can get for the Major 3000 series. This thing is ridiculously heavy. So the yellow part is all metal, the red part is also metal. So the only plastic here is the wheels and the gray base here. Got some details in the back for the turn signals and the brake lights. And this one can elevate until I think 45 degrees. So if you want to dump all the heavy rocks or sand, this is good to go. Let's attach it to the tractor. Me, me. You're finish. By far, one of my unique trucks in my uh, collection of 3000s Major Red Series is this one. Only one I have in my collection. This is the Horse Carrier. This one came with the Volvo Asian truck. But I don't think this is the correct vehicle that's supposed to go with this trailer. Normally it would come with a truck similar to this international flat nose truck. So we're going to take a look at this trailer here. So we have a two-tone style paint job. Rodeo Texas. The yellow part is plastic and the red part is metal. Make it quite a bit of a substantially heavy truck in a trailer. For those here. I mean, you were able to fit some horse, but uh, of course, when I found it, no horse were to be seen inside of this one. You have another extra door in the back here. I'm gonna open up, walk the horse, and be ready to hit the highway. This one looks like a uh, caravan style backup, more than the American truck, European truck back trailer. And this one here does not have any uh, legs to put it down, so it's just set like this. It's kind of a bit strange. And here you have a little compartment here, maybe a little food for your horses. Put it back. Well, maybe there are legs just to climb aboard the uh, canopy over here. 
And this one used to have a uh, movable sunroof, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's gone now. And then there we go. We have another similar truck next to this one. However, this one is carrying cars, more F1 cars. This one is the Honda Racing Team. Arton Senna, Alan Pruss in the back. World Championship. Extra tires for race, if you need. Come with this uh, fat metal truck. And this one usually came with this uh, back ramp here. We can load this uh, race car or unload it. Ready for the race. Now this side usually came with the uh, transparent window so you can see your car when you're rolling around but this one mine is missing on both of my versions it was quite a bit unfortunate on the f1 racer and this is also a very light trailer this is all plastic nothing not much metal on it except this little part here and uh, no legs on this trailer too I think they are probably missing because I can see some pin over here. But uh, that's all things goes. Sometimes with toys with this age. Another version I have is this one here. F1 Racing Service. ELF. This one's has a nice paint job, yellow and blue. Quite a bit like it. Still have the door in the back. But same thing. On the side, missing the transparent window. F1 race team service. And this one's also missing a horn. Eh, how unfortunate. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Next, we have this one. This one's the same as this guy here. Missing the containers. And quite a bit busted on the cab, too. Wink, wink, wink. Okay. Uh, oh, I have more trucks over here. Three bobtails. I think I showed you those ones already. And two more here. Flat dead trucks. Scania here. Red one. With so now we're gonna take a look at those majorette, a little bit smaller vehicles. So the first ones is the Toyota Land Cruiser. One's 35th scale, Majorette Racing. This one's not, a, this one has quite a bit of common versions and uh, different liveries. Also features different bumpers, roof, and opening doors. Like this one. Ah, crap. Looks like the uh, door panel just break off when I open up the door. That's quite a bit of fun for sure. I think I'll have to do a little bit of super glue work on this one. Hope this one does not do the same thing. These are Fox Yellow 4x4. It's one of a little bit better condition bumper. Different wheels, I think. Yeah. Nope, same wheels. Metal base. And this one has a gas tank on the back instead of this one having a spare tire which is quite cool this one have a luggage rack with some tools on the roof red breaking paris no bumpers or maybe broken bumper on the front no spare tires or anything on the back we still have the opening tailgate here there we go. Get a better look at the interior of this nice Toyota pickup truck. Uh, Toyota SUV. Yeah, I think this one is my oldest version I have. Definitely didn't see those wheels before. Nice metallic green. You can also see the details a little bit better, I think, in this version. The doors. The hood. Missing bumper on the front. You can also see the license plate, Toyota on the back. Still have the opening tailgate. And this one here, 
same version of this one, but this one's missing the, the luggage rack. Does still have the original bumper, which is cool, and the spare tire. This one doesn't have. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's it. This was the one third fifth scale Toyota pickup truck. Quite a bit version of this one. I'm probably sure I will find more also in the future. Next. This one is very unique. I didn't see too often. This is a limousine. Probably based on the old Lincoln. This one have the uh, movable sunroof, which is pretty cool. A little decoration in the back. Nice tail lights. Some very funky style low rider wheels, which I like. Plastic base, however, but metal. Still have a metal body. And super nice suspension on this one. Love it. It's just way too fun to <laughs> not activate it. So you have four opening doors on this one, which is pretty cool. And the interior is a little bit difficult to see, however, because of the black tainted windows but that's all right so we have chrome antennas too on the sides in the back which is also rare because they always bust the when you see those and this thing is just fairly gangster however <laughs> it's just so nice you don't have too many style with these kind of vehicle in the major lines uh, these days next we have this uh, Toyota garbage truck which is cool too this one at the uh, steering wheel on the right side which is make it more realistic metal base metal cab this part here is plastic but this is metal I think this one's missing but probably the companion to uh, maintain the garbage in and you can move it like this, forward and back, push the garbage out. And you go to the dumpster. And this one I think is the same scale as the uh, Land Cruiser 135th scale. Yes, it is. Same wheels too. And this is a very good condition to get uh, that truck. Next, uh, what we have here in the back, before we go to those American style trucks, we have this one here. This is the uh, bank security truck. You can also put money on, however, but no, without the door in the back, it's quite a bit difficult <laughs> to maintain the cash inside of the truck. This one also has opening doors. I just can open up without destroying it like I did with the Toyota. Yeah, it's just stuck there, so I'm not gonna force it and break it off again. Not much details on the hood, however, some nice details on the front grille. Missing a part here. Nice license plate too. This one says California. Bang security. Nice T. Style windows on the sides. Some different wheels too, and a metal base, so this one's quite a bit heavy. The only part plastic here is the roof. Next. This is also one of my favorite pieces in this uh, scale of major vehicles. This is the uh, Kenilwark dump truck. This one features a very nice American Eagle on the roof, uh, the, uh, the hood, excuse me. Nice shiny grill, still have the horns, the exhaust. Bucket elevates just like the uh, semi truck. Yes. Also, have some nice uh, robustness on the back to maintain the bucket up and down. This one's still, you know, this one add an opening hood also with a nice diesel engine. And I think this also is the same casting as the uh, other truck that we'll see. Coming next, which is the uh, basically the same truck. However, this is the dump truck, and this is the uh, tow truck. I think it's missing a bucket 
in the back here to maintain the sand or the, the rocks inside of the, the truck. Plastic base. Does roll nicely too. So nice truck. Love it. Other version of this one. Police. Highway Patrol 911. Still have the horns. And this one has a nice hook still attached in the back. I'm not sure if it can tow something because the, the hook is very small. Maybe if I try to tow this Toyota. It does work. So this thing here is plastic. Broken a little bit here. The cab is metal and the chassis, a little bit of the chassis is metal and the rest is plastic. This thing is a little bit lighter. I would say much lighter than this one. This one is just a, like a solid brick of metal. Very heavy piece. But overall, very nice piece to your collection if you're a matrix collector. <clears throat> this one's the same truck. This one features a blue in the back, but it's missing the toe inch. Same tempos, same opening hood. Next, oh, before we go to the other trucks, I also have this version here in red. More beat up, it's missing an exhaust pipe. This one says 24 hour express heavy, towing duty. But these stickers are very worn up, so it's quite difficult to read them. Same opening hood, missing the uh, air supply tank here on the sides, also missing the towing cable. So this one's more interesting for the parts really than being uh, in the collection for display. This is a pretty cool looking truck too. Very, very pristine condition. This is the GMC semi mixer. This is the part that's supposed to go in the back. It's supposed to attach it like this. Maybe I will try this later because it seems to be a little bit difficult to put it back. And when you're rolling the truck and pressing the back, normally the cement mixer will spin like this. So it's quite cool. Kind of reminds me a bit of the Matchbox Rollmatic. So this one has a little gear here, you can see here, that when you're rolling the wheels of the truck, it does spin around. Yeah, pretty cool. I'm going to put this like that. I have another version here. Not sure which one is older, but this one still has the stickers on the side. Nice green color. Yeah, the bucket here is still attached. And it does run it like this. Another version here. Same truck. This one's a flat the uh, flat bed. And this one does say GMC on the front grill, which is cool. So this one some cars you want, maybe a bulldozer, tractor, or a car as I did before with the, uh, the uh, semi car hauler, which is pretty cool. Okay, this one, E B on the side, is that the same as the, uh, yes, the same company as the uh, semi mixer, so quite a bit interesting. Then we have this one here, probably based on the Ford truck. It's a crane, nice details, some triple horns, just like the uh, flat nose right there. Wall exhaust, side view mirrors, plastic base, all metal. Quite a bit of details on the uh, crane too, very interesting. Missing a part here. And the other one, same cab, but this one 
is the uh, dump truck, just like this one here. Let's see how they put in back. And this thing, the same thing, very heavy. When these buckets are all metal, they're really quite a bit of weight, these castings. Even though this is also metal, this one just feels so stupidly heavy on <laughs> him. It's ridiculous, but I like it like that. And now we're gonna take a look at those vans in the back. Quite interesting vehicles, actually. Okay, the vans. These are probably the first major 3000 series that I found in my collection when I started beginning to collect these in 2013, I think. 2014. So this is the first version I got. This is the Bell Canada service van. I think it's based on an old GMC. This one features opening doors in the back. And the interior actually varies from a mall to another. So this one has the more interesting equipment van. Interior. It does have a roof rack. This one is a little bit busted on the right side. Otherwise, the vehicle is in pretty good shape. Next version is this one here. Very different wheels. This one features a nice uh, Austin with a little boat. Some palms, too. This one used to have a tow hinge, but it's missing. I think this is the same interior as the uh, the Bell Canada van. Different roof with a sunroof. So interesting for that. Holidays. Vacation. Nice front grill. And these models also have, I think, a separate uh, dashboard with the uh, different color than the interior itself. So it's also interesting. Another version here, TV Syrup service, TV service, <laughs> of course, very old TV, which is interesting, different roof also, and the toolbox, and the, I don't know, actually it's this one, that, it's the same as this one, it's just missing the gallery here, opening doors, same interior, and uh, yeah, the same wheels. Uh, I think these ones have the same wheels as this vacation. Oh, first version, different. Emblems. This one's also very cool. I like it. In white. SOS 233 1515. Emblems. And now we have a different interior for this one. Let's see, we have a little patient. Waiting to be transported at the hospital, which is interesting. And these bands are 135th scale, just like the uh, other major malls I show you. This one's a different paint livery in white. Now we can see a little bit of the uh, purse in the back, a little bit more, and this uh, dark blue interior than on the other version. Like the dome lights, also on the top of the emblems and last one I think before we go to the uh, larger scale major truck is this one this is the uh, fire rescue truck SOS 590 000 it says sticker still there interesting metal horns with the uh, cherries on the Top of the roof. Interesting cab also. I don't know what truck is based off, but uh, it's quite interesting to see it. SOS thing livery here. This one is also heavy, metal base, and all the red parts are metal. The white part also. So only the only plastic on it is the yellow part here. From this gray here, this moving uh, wheel. This one's missing a ladder. But you have those little traps here to put equipment for the fire the apartment to use. Same for this one. Missing one on the back. Yeah, pretty 
cool every piece and I have the same truck like this but in a little bit larger scale you can see in the back here two versions Ugh. oh jeez this thing is heavy very heavy piece on this one fire department engine number two this one has quadruple head horns the only thing uh, unfortunate for this one is missing the uh, the big ladder on the top because this for the rest of this truck is pretty interesting to see I think this one also has some legs that you can put down during heavy emergency yeah there we go I'll try to put the other one down so very realistic interesting and this one also have a, a moving steering on the front you want to turn around your wheels it's also pretty cool a lot, of play, a lot of play value for this truck yeah, on the other side is the same thing fire engine number two and this one also features a big heavy metal base and this one is 147 scale it's a little bit bigger any sounds in SL, maybe a fire ladder engine in tradition in English. Next, same truck or fire engine, but different top. This one still have the plastic here, still missing the bucket on the back. Rescue unit with the funky uh, bird on the side, still have the legs. Uh, same wheels on this one. So I have a steering. Sometimes it's a little bit rough to move on, but uh, they are still moving up. Ooh, that's when the cab moved up a little bit. Maybe sometimes the kid that own it or the collector that owned it before me drops it on the ground and the cab just move a little bit. And then, yeah, pretty heavy piece as this one goes same for this one this is the same truck but this one does not feature the stickers on the front so pretty interesting moving wheel these one these wheels are moving much better when it's tear the front and the cab is in good shape doesn't seem to be bad suffer for an impact all the legs are there too, still missing the bucket in the back. Oh, so I have some tools in the back here. And the Texas license plate for this one. So yeah, so did I miss something before we move on to maybe those uh, matchbox and play art vehicles. So we we have also have this major helicopter. Which is interesting. Nope. Uh, upside down. Acusta 109. Oh, it's missing something in the back. And this is probably the scale 160 scale. The rotors are spinning up very nicely. So this one says police 57483. It's on the side. Interesting piece. I don't collect helicopters, but this one was all interesting for me to get. Well, of course, I don't think this is in scale with the other major vehicles, but uh, it's interesting, however. So yeah, we're gonna take a look at the other vehicles I have left. I think uh, I pretty much cover all the major vehicles. Maybe those monster truck if you didn't see them. These are uh, the same scale as the regular major vehicles. They're just with white tires. So we're gonna take a look at my Matchbox vehicles and maybe some interesting other brands just like Playart and uh, Corgi, like these two tanks in the back. So stay tuned. So since the measured batch is passed all through, we're gonna take a look at my last major uh, major scale vehicle, which is a Matchbox, Playart, and some other manufacturers. So first of all, we're gonna take with Matchbox. And the first vehicle I'm going to show you today is this Scamol Fat Nose Semi Truck. 
This is a nice looking little casting. Features a cross shader camo mold inside of the front grille. Nice chrome wheels. You have this little ash in the back room to protect the cab from getting hit by the semi. Trailer is never detached from the, the back of the truck. Molded tail lights. <clears throat> also some nice details on the doors. Metal base. Matchbox Scamal Tractor made in England, 1973. Lesney Products. Very smooth truck to roll around. And for the trailer, it says United Steel Steel Corporation on it. Comes with this little crane, and very rare is to find Matchbox these days. In this age, with still the rub on the crane. And underneath, we have, you can remove these. You can find some uh, empty pallets over here, and under this one is some solid uh, piece of container attached to the trailer. So you can see little pins here if you want to attach the uh, little cover here. No tail lights in the back of the trailer, nothing special too. You have those uh, permanent legs molded into the casting. And this single axle for a trailer in the back. Interesting. Next is a different tanker from the major one. Features the Shell logo. This one dual axle in the back. Long vehicle. Nice pipes here. Plastic. Matchbox super fast. Articulated tanker, 1973, so they are from the same year. And this one here is a Ford truck. Interesting vehicle. Shell temple, green windows, insert steering wheel. Little thing here on the sides. Weird orange part here for the back axle, but that's okay. K115. And this vehicle is in very good condition. No ships to be found on this rig. And it does roll like a baby. Next matchbox. Probably my favorite. Is this giant Santa Fe hauler. Features two trucks. Uh, a big trailer and a truck. So we're going to detach this very carefully. Because this vehicle cost me quite a bit. It's also in very good condition. CFH Santa Fe features quadruple horns, nice cherries on the top. Ford on the casting, nice blue. I think this is a tilting cab truck. Not sure. Yes, it does tilt. Have to be careful here because this is such an older truck. Nice blue detailed engine underneath. Put it back like that. There we go. Nice chrome wheels. This white is also very pearlescent looking. Transcontinental. Set on the top of the base. 4 inch series. And this one is from 1979. So a little bit younger than these two prison trucks. As for the trailer, it comes with a little hook, plastic. Also features these uh, little protectors here. Santa Fe. Yeah, pretty cool. Also, very easy to maneuver. Maneuver around. And now I've got to park this one right here. Next to the other Matchbox trucks. Here we go. Very nice trio here. Next Matchbox vehicles, same cab, different stories. This one's a fire engine, the first one I found in my thrift shop store. Super King KO Fire Tender. This one features a movable ladder. Interesting. Kind of a bit of a 
older style cab truck. Two axles in the front, one in the back. It does rotate. If you want to spin it around. All metal truck, quite a bit heavy. This is another version I have. This one's a little bit better condition. This one's in the Denver Fire Department. Interesting color. This one does the interior. This looks to be chrome with the yellowish type of the windows. Still have the fire department here. Sticker. And a little bit of dust. So this one's going to be to be cleaned up before it goes back to the case. Maybe perhaps on the display box when I will have some space to display those big vehicles. And the next one is this crane trailer, which is cool. However, some broken parts. And this is a pretty substantial heavy truck also. So this is all the yellow you see is metal. The base is also metal. So this thing is weighs a pound. Very heavy. We also have those little legs here. You can move. Stabilize the truck when you maneuver the crane. Does extend pretty long too. So very nice quality detail toy. Very interesting. It says Ling on the front and the back. Next, this one. First of all, I thought was a majorette. When I first look at it, but it's not. This is a matchbox. This is a removable tailgate. This is a fire con fire control. Okay, tempo so hard, I have difficulties to read it. This is a Range Rover, I think. Uh, yeah, Range Rover. Probably a Spore or something. Still have the attachment on the roof. Windows a little bit cracked, but that's okay. Fire control, nothing on the roof, uh, on the hood. Nice metal base. Interesting piece. Next, we have more matchbox. Yes, these three here. This is a much smaller scale truck. Still features those uh, very crazy old rubber tires. This is the Guy Warrior truck. Matchbox series, K size K8, guy wire or car transporter. Missing something in the back. Pretty rough casting, I will say. The paint is uh, messed up everywhere. The wheels are appear to be gray and the orange wheels. And this one says car auction collection. On the side, it's probably not missing another temple here. Maybe a good candidate for a future restoration. And then to finish the matchbox, we have these two Super King tanks. Uh, oops. No, this is not a matchbox. It's a Zilmex, actually. This is a matchbox, however. King Tiger, Hong Kong. Oh, interesting. I thought this was a matchbox, but. Uh, nice moving turret. Here's a matchbox. Super King. I replaced the, uh, the rubber treads on it because they were missing. Also, this guy on the top is missing the head. Number 23, this is a Nazi tank. The spinning turret. I think this one's the, uh, the King Tiger tank. Battle Kings, last new product. All metal piece. Very heavy truck uh, tank. Next, we have this little Land Rover here with rubber tires and suspension. Corgi toys. Interesting vehicles with a separate steering wheel on the interior. Nice details on the back and the front. A bit beat up, so easy for a restoration candidate. Next, we have these two tanks here. I believe they are made by Dinky Toys. These are very rough pieces of metal. Cannon turret spins. And this thing is triggered as stuck, but I think it would be if you move them backward and forward, the cannon would just simulate shooting. And this 
one's missing the thread. And this one here is another one I got. It's a little bit heavier. I think this is the yeah, dinky Chi Tang Tank. Super heavy stuff. And the cannon, same thing here, stuck. Move around. Spins. A lot of details on this tank. Interesting. Especially if you're a war vehicle collector, you will absolutely love these. Super heavy castings. And if you found them with the original treads, you would just be amazing. I think this thing spins around. It does not do anything on the tank itself. Maybe it's something broken, but this, this thing is such a normal vehicle. Also have this one here, this is a Greyhound bus. I picked up a few months ago at the field market. And last and not least for the finish the video, we have these two. They are my most recent acquisition. These are the Playart Kenworth W900 tanker trucks and they are really really detailed. As you can see here. Vintage vehicle, play art, made in Hong Kong, is what it says on the base. Chrome exhaust, chrome grill, painted light on the roof, nice orange stickers in blue, the sides, you have your mud, mud, mud flaps, your wheels, and this one have an opening hood, and tilt like a real truck, super chrome shiny details for this one and this is a trailer Union 76 flammable double spare tire on the back of the trailer inserts for the tail lights in the side the turn single which is a very very cool ladder a few fuel nozzles on the sides play out the main Hong Kong and your legs well, the tanker, this is plastic, and the rest is metal. We've got another one of these, still in the original box. This was the Union one. And the other one, big surprise, is a shell truck. Yes, exact same thing. This what features also when opening up. Play out diecast truck. You can see your original trailer. Let me take it apart. Very nice piece. Love this one. And these will go to my collection of semi trucks. Preciously. So that's it, guys. This was my huge majorette and matchbox truck collection. Hope you enjoy it. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.